Welcome back, and today I'm heading to this planet. Like I say, it's going to be speed eating. We're going to be going to that big purple thing up there. And when we get there, we're going to be most certainly leveling the place. It's going to be flat like a pizza. Um, I've had to travel from 000 to 555. So as a result, we have to go through 222. So we're just doing a little slow run through the spawn here. As you can see, there are the Gundams from the previous medit video all starting to load in. There's the Flash Gordon ship down the bottom with the gel, the glass at the bottom there. Uh, a couple more of the Gundam carriers, which we're going to be finishing off, uh, just loading up in the right. Uh, going to take a little look around for you. And then obviously we'll speed up the footage. Um, and what you're going to be watching is about an hour, I think, about an hour's worth of, of salvaging. Um, the reason that the salvager was made the way it is is because it's like... It was made for purpose, and that was for mining and boring and clearing and leveling on planets. So if you notice, it has way too much thrust. And, uh, oh, there's the last exile warship in the back there, and a couple of little Minecraft schematic edits just coming into the background in the uh yeah interesting so onward to the planet but yeah um it's got a flat bottom it's got all flat sides uh with nothing protruding so that it can roll on its side be used on its side it can be used standing up you just move it around whilst in gravity uh which is pretty useful um you know but uh yeah coming in on this planet we should get there any minute now but yeah the uh this planet harvester ships actually available for download if you if you search for it I think I had it in as world eater um, that was the title of the videos it's got a massive it's got a massive hangar in the back for docking things um, and uh, loads of little functional rooms but you can see a speed build on the interior of this ship so we're coming in on the planet now I'm sped up the footage now too we should make a bit more progress obviously I had to come in and actually level it up so what I did was I hit C to level the ship and then moved it around to the side facing the ship and then did everything in the left shift right shift free look so that the ship wouldn't turn and let's go so yeah basically we're gonna uh, clear this up like I say, it didn't take too long. I must admit that salvaging did appear to take longer than it used to. Um, but what I noticed was the beams only fire when they make contact, which is actually a pretty cool effect graphically. You know, when you're watching, no beams will fire if there's nothing to fire at, which is quite cool. Uh, it's sort of like each beam's intelligently seeing and firing, which is really nice. So anyway, uh, we'll just start working on a little bit of a level area to start off with. And um, and then just work through it, really. I think I'm going to put some peaceful music on to accompany this. And uh, I'll sure we'll be back in a few seconds. Slash minutes.
So, uh, here we are. The peaceful music's done. Uh, thanks, Google. That was a free track, which you can find in your video creators section under uh, instrumental acoustic guitar. And, uh, yeah, I just sort of thought, hey, they're giving me some free music. Let's use some free music. So, anyway, let me know what you thought about that in the uh, comments below, because I haven't done that before. If you hate it, won't do it again. If you like it, might do it more. So, uh, nearly finished with this planet now. So, um... I'm just literally getting those last few bits off. Now, I thought at this point I'd show you why you don't just turn it and fire it. This is why I'm doing everything in C facing forwards. No matter what you try to do, it will always mess up the leveling. If you look at the floor here, it's all it's taken out another layer. You know, it's you never get it straight. So you've got to keep it on C and do it all from one direction. But then I did build the ship to do it like this. So it works really well. It's got enough to just hop in gravity when you're sat there. It's got enough, you just push E and you can get anything above if there really is anything that tall. But you would have seen me doing that. Um, other than that, it's just a case of just persistence. You know, I was watching a film um, with some friends doing this and while I was doing this, and all it was is a case of moving left to right every now and then, because uh, it's a really quick ship to harvest with. But like I say, it's, it's only small as well. So you can do stuff like this. Just literally scrape it all back. And there we go, one flat planet. Um, I will be putting the, in the description for this video, you will be able to take the sector and import it into your world. So you'll be able to get this flat planet along with my ship and the little race car, which I ended up building towards the end of the video. So, uh, just if you want to check out or do anything within a within a flat planet, <laughs> there you go, free flat planet. Um, but yeah, I'm just sort of lining it up for a couple of screenshots, I think, to post up on the Mushroom Fleet community. You can get there by going to mushroomfleet.co.uk. It's a little Google community we run. Um, it's very active. We've got lots of members. And um, I encourage people to post up their screenshots. So, and there it is, one flat planet. I think I wanted to line up for a couple more screenshots. So, I think I'm just positioning my ship a little bit. <laughs> Get it right for the photo. And chuck it in here. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's where I leave it, actually. I was just like, do you know what? I need to just get out of this ship and uh, get down on the planet because I've been doing this forever. But yeah, it only took an hour, I think. Something like that. See, if I had mates with me, the server's down at the moment, so I had to do this all fully solo. If I had mates with me, I just would have given out a couple of these ships that could have had it done in 10 minutes. Or we would have, or we would have crashed the server, one of the two. <laughs> so, there she is. She's done her work for the day. And there was a purpose for this. I wanted to have a nice flat planet with gravity for skid racing tracks. And I thought the best way to do that was just to have a flat a flat sector, which I could import and work with. Um, but I never actually got around to doing it after completing the ship, because I had so many other projects on. But yeah, um, I think I'm gonna do a quick demo of how, because you'd think, oh, it's not very big. But if you go around the edge, it is actually pretty big. I mean, what I'll do is I'll run a stopwatch from like, you know, when I pass the ship, my ship. So, you know, in a second, I'm gonna keep going around the edges. In a second, you're gonna see me come up on the ship. There it is, there's the World Eater. It's got lots of names. <laughs> so here we are. I think I'm actually gonna stop, am I gonna stop? Yeah, I'm gonna stop. So, here we are. So let's go for a lap. Let's see how long it takes to get round skimming the edge. Because my idea was by building off the sides with symmetry, you should be able to create a really large racetrack, but you'd, you know, you'd get away with a lot by having the middle to start off with. So, we're just coming around. 
We're at 25 seconds. I crashed. So probably looking at 30 seconds if he didn't crash. Going around the outer edge. 35 seconds dead there. So... I think that's a go. I mean, the, sh the race cars that I was working on were a bit for jokes. I just wanted to see if it would work by oversizing them um, and basing it on like a model. So there it is. Good job. And uh, next what I'm going to be doing is bringing in uh, one of the race cars. I think I bring in the Toyota from the previous video with Smedit. And we're going to do a quick speed build. So just literally a couple of thrusters and a bunch of like noob reactors. A couple of shields just really for show. Uh, a couple of cameras. Quite a few cameras. <laughs> A uh, little bit of hull, because I want to make sure it did skid and didn't get caught on anything. I don't think I did the whole underside, but I just wanted to make sure it's flat at the front. And here we are. So yeah, I mean, you recognize the car. It doesn't really work. <laughs> if you notice, it's like, <laughs> it doesn't really work at all, but hey, I tried. So here we go. You see, so the problem is you turn and you roll and then you dig a corner in and don't skid anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> it was pretty funny though. <laughs> I think I messed about with adding power and um, adding thrust, but you know, in the end, it still didn't work all that well. So. Oh no! <laughs> I've killed someone finally. First thing I tried to build was my surfboard, <laughs> and obviously that doesn't really work. You have to get in the cockpit. And release the docking cap on the <laughs> <laughs> free look, a zoom, and the character will sort of pin, so as you can see I'm rotating like that. Uh, normal movement controls, same as if you're running about. So, uh, guns don't actually fire yet, so, and also large ships can only have the, um, oh no! Right, press X, zoom, zoom. Right, a, burn a little bit longer towards the blue thing. 2019, 1650. that kills everyone. True, true. <laughs> Other than that, I'm at a bit of a loss. But Can anyway, we not pure amazing Fantas Longhorn and Seron 16 play. <laughs> Bot survival.